Uh, no surprise, Manchester United's comeback victory against Aston Villa dominating the back page of the English newspapers uh, today. It is Hoyland who is on the back, of course, getting his first uh, Premier League goal. But Garnacho, of course, getting the two goals which led to that comeback. This is what you had to say after the game. I wanted to try and take control of things. I said we just needed one goal to get back into it. I got that first one. It was offside. But as I said before, we never give up. So it was a case of scoring the first goal and keeping on pressing. It's one of the best days of my life. He's only 19, so he hasn't had many of them, but still, it's, it's a nice one to remember. It's amazing, though, that, you know, and, and take nothing away from, from Hoyland, he's a youngster, but, it, you know, I was thinking about it when we finished yesterday, in, in some sense, it's his job. Yeah. It, it, you know, to score goals. It, and they didn't, they didn't pay buttons for him. They paid a fair amount of money for him. Mm. Now, people will say, well, as a youngster, he's this. It's, it's gone Christmas before he scored his first Premier League right. goal. I mean, it's, it's... I was going to try and steer the conversation about Garnacho and how important he could be moving yeah. forward. No, no, well, uh, well, the pay, well, 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 the headlines all were, were all... Were yes, hard. and then I mentioned the fact that Garnacho scored well, two and then read his quote. Well, you put the papers up there. <laughs> well, it was just a reference point to get us to the quote, which you weren't listening to clearly because you decided to make a Hoyland the point. The quote was way too long. Say again? The quote was way too long. I thought that was the problem, yeah. Whenever, it was... it's, whenever it's more than a couple of lines, yeah. you switch off to Yeah. Uh, how good and how important could Garnacho be for United, Mario? Very. I think uh, when we watch the game, the, the goodness about, about this young kid is uh, his will and his hard working and, and the way he wants to uh, achieve and, and play even better every time. And the, the key thing now comes down is like, Imagine you have the balance right. Eh? You have a, a Garnacho and a Rashford. Then you got to worry about two players. Because if you only have Garnacho, I think that's kind of they can isolate it, and they did that before. You know, close him down, and he calms down. And I'm not talking about, you know, people who highlight bicycle kicks. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a player that when you only have one left-sided player and you only have to worry about them, the team can hang over to that side and defend there, and you can shut them down. But when you have two guys going out, and I think when you saw, you know, the goals that he scored, even the ones that he was offside, you could see the pace of Rashford, and then him being on the opposite side, together, they can really bring you in trouble. And I think that's why now I think he's exposing himself, and I think also his confidence is rising. You know, when you're that young and you're playing that good, that's what you need. You need to score goals. You need to feel confident. And a stadium like that size, I think it's a great place to, to, to be at the moment for him to score goals because his team really need it. Because, like, you tapped into Holland even, you know. It, it's, it's a sad part of paying that much money for a young kid and that much pressure. But it's that difficult because we expect the best. When you come to that team, and it's the same, anything, but that kind of money and playing for Man United... It's a sad part, but people expect the goodness of you, and that's what Garnacho is doing. Do you know who's really annoying me right now? It's not you two. Okay. Well, that's a first. Oh, yeah, well, wow. well you, you, it's a starting but point. But you're on the edge. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, Casey, you're on the edge. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're just, you're, right. you're, you're, right. Annoying should be your middle name. Right. I'll tell, you who, is, I, I tell you who is really annoying. And, and this is leading into the Garnacho. is Jaden Sancho. And, and I'll tell you why. Is Jaden Sancho unless we've got the whole thing wrong, is completely out of the picture because he's got a petted <laughs> lip and he won't apologise for his wrongdoings because he feels he's been wronged by a manager who's in charge. And here we have this guy who's on huge money, who had a huge transfer. He's got a talent, not seen a lot of it in England. He's sitting on his backside, twiddling his thumb, wasting his career, watching a youngster, yeah. watching a youngster go out there and help carry one of the biggest clubs in the world on his shoulders and his manager who's under pressure. A young kid who you could argue is not more talented than Jaden Sancho, who is certainly not more experienced than Jaden Sancho. We're talking about a guy who's an England international. But yet this guy's going out there. He's gone, Anthony, Rashford, Sancho, part your backside. I'll show you. That would, if I was a professional, I'd be sat, I wouldn't be sat at home happy about that. I'd be sat at home embarrassed with myself yeah. that I'm sitting watching a kid do what he's done not all, not every week, not every game. But Mario mentioned it, that marvellous uh, bicycle kick, the goals yesterday, just his enthusiasm for the game, whether he plays well or not. And then the other side of the coin, we got the petted lip, sat at home, doesn't even want to help out. There's the difference between people who want to get out there and make a difference. And this is yeah, the Ten Hag one. Go on, Mario. 
Yeah, but don't you think, you know, Craig, when we in this situation, are we not happy as a player? When we see the other one being in trouble, that gives us the opportunity and more time to develop our skill. I think that's what's helping the Garnacho at the moment. Don't you agree that he has more time, like how you highlighted it? He has so much more time and, and so much more to expose himself to that team and say, like, I want to be the most important player in this side. And, yeah, I don't, I don't understand, man, why he's doing that. Because Sancho, guys, if we go back, this was a kid. Oh, when he came from Dortmund to, to Manchester, it was like no one would even think about it. He came even in the national team. We're like, wow. And that he does not want to do that, uh, yeah, I'm surprised too. He's killing his own career. He's not killing the team. He's killing his own career. Mm. I mean, Ganacho shouldn't even be near. I don't mean this in a bad way. Right. right? When, when, when this youngster looked, at the start of the season, when he sat down and, and at home and was just about to go to his first day of pre-season training, he went, my God, Marcus Rashford off his best season ever. Yeah. Anthony cost a fortune. Jaden Sancho, oh, how, how, how am I going to get a game? And yet, mm. here he is, superseding them all. That kind of tells you where he is and right. also where they are. Right, and, and given like the atmosphere at Old Trafford, how toxic everything has sure. been, he could have hidden quite easily, couldn't he? But he seems to be, despite his age, someone who's saying, right, come on, give me the ball, I want to help. Well, it's about taking advantage of opportunities that are given to you. Yeah. Now, the opportunity was given to him with an amount of time that Mario referenced, because there isn't a Jaden Sancho training hard every day, coming on as a sub and doing well and putting you under pressure. You almost have been given this benefit of, son, just go out, play well, well-ish, and then you add to that spectacular goal here and there, good goals to help pull yourself back from a 2-0 hole at home when the pressure is mounting, and all of a sudden, you're becoming something that there wasn't the pressure on you from the start to so, become, where there was on Jaden Sancho, and he couldn't handle it. He's got two players in Hoyland and, and Sancho who were the headline makers, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Garnacho, uh, who were the headline makers yesterday. And he, as a manager, he, he doesn't know what the end product is going to be when he puts them on the field, but what he does know is... They're going to run around, well, they're going to work hard, they're yeah. going to close down, and in Hoyland's case, he's going to be a nuisance of himself right. with the centre-halves, and he's going to be physical. At least he knows there's a starting Here, point he's going to get. But Craig, yeah. here's the part that I don't understand anymore. Why is that a topic? Right. You're a field player. That should be a given. Yeah, that yeah. should be a yeah. given that you but should be. But club. it's not anymore, and that's well, the not, problem. At, it's not at that club at the right. moment. You know, when yeah. you put Rashford, with all respect, he played better yesterday... When you put Rashford and Martial and one or two others in the field, but let's not... He's it's not, a coin toss. He's not only worrying the manager about what performance and what mistakes they might make, he's worrying if they're, if they're going to even break sweat and he's going to have to take them off at half-time. Yeah. It's just not a good place to be. So at least he has some players. And in all, in all fairness, Bruno Fernandes, I, I'm on about him as much as anybody. He's a frustrating player at times. He at least works hard. You know, he at <laughs> least he at least puts some. He's work. committed. Yeah, I mean, he, he, yeah. He, he, he's frustrating a lot of the times, but he's a talent and he's committed and he generally doesn't hide, right? He does a lot of frustrating things, but with the others, you know, those two youngsters, it's hard work, it's graft, but yesterday it wasn't only that; it was end product.